Hello viewers, welcome back. In the previous lesson, I showed you how the conveyor machine works, and then I wrote a simple direct online program for controlling the machine. Now, in the next few lessons, I'm going to create the application graphics that I need, do the required configuration to connect the two softwares, and then test the open PLC program in this lovely 3D environment. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay. To create a new project, you need to go to new and then click on the new. So I'm going in for a 4 meter conveyor. I have to drag and drop it in the 3D environment. Okay, great. Okay. So to zoom in on an object, you click on where you want to zoom and then you press on the Q button. You can also use the middle button on your mouse to also zoom in. Okay. So now to go left or right, you simply click and hold your left mouse button and then move the mouse in the direction you desire. So left, right, and then backwards and then also forward. Great. So that's basically how you can move the object left to right. Okay, great. So now we'll look at the number of cameras we have in factory I.O. Basically, there are three cameras in factory I.O. The use of these cameras is appropriate for different situations. For example, currently I'm using the Orbit camera. This camera works the best while you are in the edit mode. I also have the fly camera here. This camera lets you move freely in the 3d space the last camera is the first person camera that when you select this camera is basically like you are in the middle of the 3d environment okay great so i will go back to the orbit camera which as i said is the best option for editing the project okay great so basically it will also be useful for you to know that you can use some short keys to move the cameras. The short keys are the W, A, S and then D keys. If you want to move the camera forward, you can use the W key to move forward. If you want to use the, move the camera backwards, you can use the S key. If you want to move to your left, use the A button. And then when you want to move to the left, you can use the D button okay so great so if you also want to move the objects up down and then rotate it just like this you can right click and then you hold and then you can move the objects in any direction that you you want okay great so basically we are done here with all this understanding we will move on and then add the other components of our project okay so i'll go in there and then add a shoot a conveyor shoot so basically a conveyor shoot, it's an inclined shoot which does not use a motor. It basically rely on gravity to send objects from the top to the down button without any drive. Okay, so to rotate the shoot, you have to use the Y key. So you select the object and then you press on Y and then you can see that you can rotate the object. So I'll rotate it in this direction. I will click and hold the left mouse button and then position it correctly so I will zoom in a bit to have a look so I'll use the right click key and then rotate it to this particular direction and then I will hold it correctly and then align it but before then I can see that there is a, a gap so I have to position this one directly on the floor so to do this I have to right click and then I will move go to vertical trans and then with this i can move the object to the ground a bit and then i click ok and then i can rotate to see whether it's well aligned with the conveyor i can see that it's basically not well aligned so i'll shift it to this position a bit and then i can see that it's now well aligned great so underneath the conveyor we can see the 
electric motor so basically this is the motor that we'll be using and it will be connected to the output of our plc to run the conveyor okay great so great we can see that our conveyor is taking shape now now i need to add a panel so i'll go in there look for panel and then drag the panel into position i can see that before i can mount the panel i will need the panel mounting bar so i'll go in here and then drag the panel mounting bar so let me reposition this one drag this one to this position make sure it's well aligned out okay well connected then i need to move this panel onto it we can see that if i go closer i need to move the panel upwards so i'll right click and then go to vertical trans and now i can move the panel upwards okay a little bit above the bar and then if i turn this way you can see that i have to go forward a bit so i'll go for I'll move the panel forward and we can see that the position i need to move it horizontally a bit so i right click on it and then i'll go to horizontal trans and now i can move it horizontally onto the mountain bar okay great i can rotate it and see whether it's well mounted not that okay great i can see that now it's well mounted okay great now i need to add the push button so i will bring in the start push button i'll drag reposition the camera a bit okay so with this in position i need to move it up a bit so i'll select vertical trans and then i can move it upwards a bit okay so i need to bring the stop push button as well so i'll drag the same thing vertical trans and then horizontal trans to position it okay so i need to move it up a bit so vertical trans okay so with the stop position it's too close to the start so i have to drag it to this side a bit okay good so uh panel and then push buttons are placed okay so our conveyor is ready now we need to because we'll be simulating a box we need to add a transmitter so i'll drag and send the transmitter okay so it's at the floor base i need to right click and go to vertical trans and then move it up a bit okay to the conveyor level Okay, so we can see that the the transmitter is positioned and then we need a remover you can see that if i zoom here it's not well positioned so i have to position it well okay so we can see it's well positioned now now we need to add a remover so i'll go in for a remover okay we can see the remover is also now well positioned so it's now well positioned now we can see that we have our transmitter which is going to bring the boxes and then we have our remover okay great so now everything is ready in the next lesson i'm going to test the machine operation using the force feature in factory io see you in the next tutorial bye bye